Welcome to the first of a series of tutorials about the Texture Anarchy Suite. Texture Anarchy is a set of three plugins for Photoshop. And since I'm already in Photoshop, if I go up to the Filter menu and go down to the Texture Anarchy menu, you can see that there are three plugins within the suite. There is Texture Anarchy Explorer, the main plugin and the one that this particular tutorial will focus on. Texture Anarchy Explorer creates textures, as its name implies. Tiling Texture Anarchy is a plugin that's very similar to Explorer, but Tiling Texture Anarchy textures always tile, that is, they are seamlessly repeating textures. The third plugin within this suite is called Edge Anarchy, and Edge Anarchy creates textures or patterns for your borders and frames. So Edge Anarchy is great for creating the funky, distressed edges and borders that you often see around photographs. As I mentioned, this tutorial is going to concentrate on Texture Anarchy Explorer, but a little bit about all of the plugins in this suite. All of the plugins generate what are called procedural textures. So what is a procedural texture? Well, a procedural texture is a texture that's generated from a math formula. These math formulas are called algorithms. And the algorithms create patterns that are made out of fractal noise. What is fractal noise? Well, fractal noise is basically a pattern that's made from random arrangements of pixels and these pixels are made of different values of gray. So fractal noise, these randomly arranged pixels of differing gray values, are terrific for creating organic shapes, that is, imagery that geometric shapes just can't make, like water and sand and fabric and clouds. Fractal noise is actually imagery that's very accessible in many locations of design applications. For instance, in the filter menu of Photoshop, in the noise category, we can use a variety of filters to create plain old noise, plain old fractal noise. And there you go. Very quickly, in Photoshop, we've created randomly distributed grayscale pixels of fractal noise. I'm going to hit cancel because we don't need to keep this noise. So to summarize, what Texture Anarchy plugins do is create very sophisticated patterns made from fractal algorithms. One of the advantages of creating textures from algorithmically generated patterns is that because your texture is made from a math formula, that texture can be calculated forever and it can extend forever. This means that you can scale your texture to whatever size canvas you want. And if you look at the three files that I have open on my desktop, you'll see that these three files, while they are very different sizes, and in fact they are different resolutions, they're using the same exact pattern, this snakeskin pattern. And that's a pattern that's been generated by Texture Anarchy Explorer. The flip side to using scalable, extendable procedural textures is that you can't import a pattern that you already have and then have Texture Anarchy scale and extend that particular pattern. Texture Anarchy plugins don't have an import button. So for instance, I have a file open on my desktop that is a digital photograph of some wall tiles. Texture Anarchy cannot sample from this file and then extend any portion of the many patterns. You could, from scratch, create a pattern that's very similar to this curly Q pattern or that's very similar to this circular pattern, but you cannot import this image and then extend the image in Texture Anarchy. So now we've gone over what Texture Anarchy is, what its good points and its limitations are. 
Now let's have some fun and take a look at the plugin we're going to concentrate on, which is Texture Anarchy Explorer. So I will close up the files I have open on my desktop and open up a sample file that I have prepared. The sample file, by the way, is a one layer file and the layer is a white layer with black text on it and that black text has been rasterized so that I can apply our plugin onto the layer. So let's do so. Once we apply Texture Anarchy Explorer, we're taken into a customized interface. That is, we're still inside of Photoshop, but the Photoshop menus and palettes are not accessible because Texture Anarchy has its own controls to work inside of. Texture Anarchy Explorer is a plugin that can be used as deeply as you want to use it. It's made up of three rooms or three levels. By default, you're taken into the first room or the main room. And in the main room, you can load in pre-made textures and customize those textures. We're going to spend the majority of our tutorial talking about this main room. But I want to quickly show you the other two rooms. If I click on any of the three material wells up top, I'll click on the color well, we're taken into the second room. This is called the layer editor room. And in the layer editor room, you can edit the materials that make up the textures. To get into the third room, we can once again click in any of the active wells. Once again, I'll click on the left side well and we're taken into the third room. This third room is called the deep noise room and in the deep noise room you basically roll up your sleeves and choose new materials to make into a texture. To get out of any of the rooms you just hit the back button or your escape key and very quickly we move from room to room and we're now back in the main room. An analogy you can use to differentiate the three rooms or levels of Texture Anarchy Explorer is an analogy of baking a cake. This first main room is the area that you would decorate your cake with various kinds of icing. The second room, the layer editor room, is where you would mix up the ingredients that are used to bake the cake. And then the final room, the deep noise room, is where you actually get the ingredients, the eggs, the butter, the flour that make up your cake. So pastries aside, let's take some time to go over all of the many palette options that are contained in this main room of Texture Anarchy Explorer. The first area I'd like to point out is an area that this tutorial can't actually preview because of the size limitations of the application that we're using to create this tutorial. Along the top right of your screen are a series of buttons that allow you to do some basic but important functions. There is a button that looks like an X and that's your cancel button. The cancel button simply allows you to get out of the Texture Anarchy Explorer interface and put you back into your Photoshop menu and palettes. Next to the cancel button is the apply button which looks like a check mark and that button simply allows you to render out any texture that you've created. There are also two buttons for preset management and the preset manager is where you access all of the pre-made textures that Digital Anarchy, that's our company, ships with Texture Anarchy Explorer. 